Messi Coder here with another Unity Asset review, and this time I'm playing with a camera filter pack from Vetasoft. And it's Christmas Eve, yet Christmas has come one day early because I've got some more assets to give away. We've got the Haunted Town from Triple Brick that I'll be playing about with in this video. I'm having a great time with the camera filters pack from Vetasoft. It's currently on a 60% sale on the asset store and it says here until the 25th so I'm not sure if that includes Christmas or it ends tonight. The camera filter pack from Vetasoft, $20 currently on sale with 60% off. It is insane when you get 300, more than 300 filters in this pack. To be honest, it's too many. Um, I just, I'm not going to be using most of those. I use a handful of them, but they are beautiful. And there are so many that maybe what isn't usable for me, it's going to be usable for you. So I'm going to show you how you can find a quick preview of all of these, which is really the only way you can work out which ones you want to use in your scene. Because if you go through one by one inside the project, you'll be there until next Christmas. Now they've got a documentation online and if you click preview filters, you've got here lots and lots and lots of links that go from 01 to 240, plus we've got color adjustments and night vision effects filters. Well, if I go through, there is a search here. So if you typed in uh, paper, we would get drawing paper here and you can go straight to that. So if you're looking for um, a drunk effect and oh, drunk two, there you go. Can when you drink something in game, enable the camera effect and have your guy get a bit drunk or this drunk one. That's a little bit more violent. And they give you a little bit of details here of how you can use it and manipulate it. You can update it via script. Water drops. Lovely. Loads of stuff. All right, let's go back into um, our filters. So, preview filters 01, 010. See here, I've got a list that shows you a little image of before and after. And then you can choose, oh, okay. Is this one usable for me? And as I say, there's over 300, which means that you really need to sit and do this and go through them yourself to be able to find the ones that you want. Well, okay. Mist, that looks like a nice one. Let's chuck a couple in our scene. Oh, snow. All right, let's chuck a couple in our scene. We'll see how we get on. Blood, hmm. Is that okay? It's a bit weird. Oh, that looks that looks funky. If you want to do like the holodeck on Star Trek or something. So let's pop in to the scene. Here we are inside the scene. I've got my camera filter pack and I've loaded up the haunted town from Triple Brick. I've loaded up the demo scene from the haunted town from Triple Brick. And we found here the FPS controller and the camera. So if I put here snow and use the 3D snow. Lovely. You can see here we've got a load of controls we can play about with. Have it in the distance. Have it closer. Wow, that looks really impressive. It's behind those houses. So, how's that? That's it. A little touch. Okay. Snow near. Snow far. Intensity. Bring it down a touch. That's, that's about. That looks good. Size of our snow. Wow, massive. And if I make it smaller, there's more of it. But it kind of looks like you get a bit of tiling in there. Let's leave it about here. All right, click play. There we go. And that is our snow. Looking good, actually. Um, it's a bit weird that. Okay, we need to play about the settings a bit more because you can see how it's affecting this tent here. So you can't play about with it until you feel like you've got it right. But it's not bad. Uh, if I look up in the sky, it's got, because of how the camera effect works, sometimes you can see some weird lines and stuff, some weird tiling effect. Like it's hitting um, the clouds See, like, the snow's hitting the clouds and, and pulling around there. When I come down here, 
they're all flowing down. That's odd. So, yeah, you need a little bit of tweaking about until you're happy. Um, so, play about to your heart's content. It's quite a heavy snowstorm, that is. How's the rain one look? Snow's a bit violent, isn't it? So, rain. And let's click play. Wow, and it's got the puddles and the stuff in the distance. And the rain's going nuts, hitting down against this market. Wow. So that's the 3D rain that's interacting with the environment, and that is a lot of controls to play with. Uh, if you just want normal atmospheric rain, let's chuck that one in. Oh, that's, let's bring down the intensity a little bit. And size. Okay. How's that? Wow, that's uh, that is a bit violent, isn't it? Let's fade, a bit less intense. Oh, the direction. Reduce the speed a bit. A little bit of the distortion. That's a little bit more subtle. Maybe too subtle. As I say, you've got so many controls to play about with. It is now it's my favourite. Let's put paper two. Nice. Blue, let's bring that down to a comfortable greyish black. That's pretty. A little bit darker. And well. Remove, bring down the corners a little bit more so we don't lose too much detail. That is lovely. Um, bring a little bit more. That's that's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Hang on. Let's try paper. That's more like it. Right. Well, put them together. You really get. That's funky. Alright, let's change this to be this colour. Um, let's drop you in. Wow, that is that is funky. Keep that intensity. And wow. That you get some really, really funky effects when you start mixing the two together. But for now, let's just play with this one. Okay. That's nice. Reduce the corner a little bit. That, that is beautiful. Let's click play. That is nice. Well, you know what I'm thinking, don't you? You know what we need right about now? We need a little bit of... Go and put in arcade TV arcade. What's this one like? Oh, wow, that's cool. You could have somebody looking at a TV screen in your game, and the TV screen goes close up, and then 
you got the view of the TV as the full screen of the camera. That is pretty funky. Let's have a look at blood. What's blood going to be like? Um, let's find the blood on screen. Oh. Oh dear. Let's click play. Um, okay. I'm not a huge fan of this one. No, not a huge fan of this. Hmm. No. Blood plus. Okay. And now you can control um, which type of blood effect to use. Um, right, let's add night vision. Night vision effects. Oh, tasty. And they've got different presets. Classic. Oh, that's nice. Full. Sharp. Low light. Purple shadow. Mm. I'm going to go classic. What's night vision personalized? Oh, it's us. Awesome. I'm, I'm going classic. So I've just picked up some night vision goggles. Put my night vision goggles on. And now everything is green. And got low light, little lines and insulation on that. So that's that's quite cool. How's it with the light? Hmm. I like this one. This one's very nice. You can see a lot of uses for this. Night vision. Let's get rid of that. Um, distortion ones. Distortion. What have we got? Um, dream. Distortion dream. Wow, there's loads of distortions. Twists, waves. Let's add a wave in there and turn it off for now until we come back to it. So this first one is Dream. Oh, wow, that's a bit awful, awful classic. It's like woo do 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 do. Now let's get rid of that Dream one. Let's put on the distortion wave. Wow, that's a bit violent as well. And reduce the intensity. Wow! You could just you've you've taken some poison or something, and everything's going to be trippy. Ooh, wow! Okay, when you move your mouse, it really freaks you out. Wow! If we got to turn that off, my room will start to spin. And you get so much stuff that I am a little overwhelmed. You really do need to get yourself um, on their website to go through the list of all the filters that you get in this pack to find the ones that you want. Use their search bar to be able to find what you're looking for. Otherwise, you're going to be a little bit like me and just randomly going through filters trying to see what use you've got for them. Oh, this is really nice. I do like that. You get into blueprint mode in your game, everything looks a bit like this. Now, I'm playing about with this triple brick scene. And if you do want to have this haunted town from triple brick, well, wow, the Matrix. You're in luck because I've got a copy to give away. Now, all you need to do is, oh wow, to be a winner of this, pick your favorite messy coder um, video asset review and give it a tweet a retweet or a Facebook social media post so choose your favorite one from my back catalog of asset reviews and chuck out a retweet doesn't necessarily have to be this one it could be anyone that you like wow this is really making my brain explode so let's close that one Hex super hexagon wow um, exercises Ooh. Ooh, wow, okay, that's about that. And, wow, that's just freaky. That's freaky. Okay, let's click play. What's this gonna be like? What's this gonna be like? Oh, wow. That's just bizarre. That's bizarre. I want to try that supercomputer one. Remove this and put here it is supercomputer. 
Okay, everyone, I think they're going to call that a day for the camera filter pack preview or muck about or whatever you want to call it from Vetasoft. For over 300 filters you get in this pack, there's no way I was going to be able to cover them all. And I've had a lot of fun and I found some that I'm going to be using in my project. Now, I've got no idea if anyone in the world can actually use all of these filters, but for $20 that it's currently on sale, don't forget this sale ends Christmas. So pick it up now while you can. I think it's a bargain. Even at full price, I think it's actually quite a good deal as well. Now, we've got the competition to win this haunted town from Triple Brick. All you need to do is share any one of your favorite videos that I've made in the past, including this one. And then in the comments for this video, just stick down you know, that you want to enter, say hello and say that you've shared and then jobs are good. And don't forget to include to tag me in the share that you're going to do. So if it's on Twitter, tag me on Twitter or Facebook likewise. And then I'll be able to see you and then comment and say hello, and reply to you. Jobs are good. Un. And in 2018, in the new year, we'll be giving away a load more stuff. I've got some fantastic packs from Cinti Studios to give away. Some really beautiful stuff to be honest and people have been asking me when I'm going to do more Cinti Studios reviews so I'm going to do a video and show you what you can win next year that's going to be a 2018 giveaway because those packs are fantastic and I want to say thank you to everyone I want to show my appreciation I hope that these giveaways are showing my appreciation but I really do um, appreciate and thankful and blown away really by the support that you've all given me over this year I've only just started doing these videos and mucking about since February and I took a break for a couple of months so even I can't even say it's been since February because we took nearly three months off while I was moving home and moved country so I want to say once again thank you for sticking with me while I disappeared for a long time thank you for sticking with me while I'm doing these ultimate survival videos and we've kind of paused while we're waiting for 0.2 to come out and I hope that's on everyone's Christmas stocking list this year that we're going to get 0.2 from Ultimate Survival I know I want it save a load, swimming, weapons, different functionality oh man the list just goes on I'm really excited about Ultimate Survival and what we're going to get in 2018 and guys if you do like these videos don't forget to click on that big juicy red subscribe button and tell all your friends and neighbours write it in your, in your letters to Santa. There's probably going to be maybe one more video before I finish for this year. So next week I'll do one more video. Maybe two videos before the end of the year. Don't know. Might do. But until then, um, if I don't and I get drunk and I pass out in a corner somewhere, well, I'll see you in 2018. But until then, if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.